Hey guys, it's Darren at Green Pro Clean, window cleaners in Nottingham and Derbyshire. Uh, today we're here working on this conservatory clean. This house is going on the market next week, so the owner's uh, spending a couple of quid having it spruced up. And um, what I want to talk about is not about how to clean the conservatory. Today I want to talk about the correct way to use um, a TFR, traffic film remover, um, or your cleaning product of choice. There is a right way and a wrong way to do it. Um, and uh, so today we're going to discuss that briefly. So what we've got here, as you can see, is a nicely minging conservatory. Uh, white PVC, of course, very easy to clean. Uh, but a lot of lads will turn up with their cleaner of choice, uh, spray it onto the dirt, and then start scrubbing away. And, uh, well, that's a no-no. The first thing you've got to do is take off all the surface crap that's there. So you don't want to waste your chemical. So just plug into the garden hose, plug into the gas the garden hose. Got my favourite muzzle on here. And we'll just start blasting out and taking out all the spider webs from the corners, all the, all the surface crap that's stuck in the glass there, and give it a good blast from the long, getting into all the, the jams. <coughs> and uh, knock out as much, just knock out as much of the cut as you can with the garden hose to start with. Now the reason that we do this is now that we've taken off now we've taken off all the stuff that was sitting on the surface, the cleaner can actually get to the ingrained shit, into the stuff that's ingrained into the plastic, the glass, and so on and so forth. I'm just going to swap sides here for a bit when I blast out this other one, giving myself a free shower on this fine Friday morning. So, uh, get up in there, last all that out. Now the other benefit this has is when you apply your chemical, you don't want to apply a chemical to a dry surface. Um, you always want your surface to be wet before you put the chemical cleaner on there. So if we give that a squirt off, there we go, got most of the crap out of there. A couple of big spider nests there, out they come. And uh, another couple there. Just put them out. We give all that a blast off. And that's it. So that's all the surface crap off of there. And uh, now the next stage is nice and simple. We take our cleaner of choice. Today I'm using Nubix 2000. This is my go-to cleaner of choice. It's biodegradable, originally designed for commercial kitchen cleaning. Um, you can find it everywhere, super cheap. And uh, it's great for PVC. And then all we do is we give it a liberal spray, get it all over the PVC. And there is rules to using um, chemical cleaners and TFRs and they call it CHAT. And what CHAT stands for is Chemicals, Heat, Agitation and Time. Sorry about talking with my back to you there, I hope the audio is okay. Um, first off the chemical is Ubix and uh, next off is Heat. It's a cool April day today, um, so we're using our Ubix Neat. We use it anywhere from Neat down to 20 to 1. Um, on a warm summer's day when it's 30 degrees out, uh, it'll work a lot quicker. So you have to allow the, the so you've got the chemical and the heat. Next you've got the agitation, and for that we're just going to break out the faithful old WFP here. We're not using any water on it, but we've got our uh, gardener seal brush on there. And we're just going to start agitating that in. Now, as it's a cool day, the chemical is not quite as effective as it would be on a hot day, which is why we're using it at a ratio of, uh, of well, neat. We haven't even diluted it. Um, but as you can see, we're putting it onto a wet surface. And the reason behind that, if you put it on a dry surface and you let it dry out, you will get um, staining. Not with Ubix, but with things like Virasol or uh, Auto Glim, some of their products I've seen leave staining on the PVC. Um, even if you use hypo, sodium hypochlorite, as the lads call it on the forums, um, you will see it uh, turn it orange if you leave it on there too long. Ubix, uh, I've never seen it stain PVC, regardless of the strength that we use it in. So, we're going to give all this a scrub. And this is the agitation stage. So, we've discussed chemicals, as I say, Ubix. The heat, it's a cool day, so we've gone neat. If it was a hot day, I would dilute that down because the chemical would be more effective. And uh, I'd dilute that down to 10, maybe even 20 to 1. Now, we're working on the agitation stage. And as you see, I'm taking my time giving it a scrub. I'll try and be a hero and blast it all out in 30 seconds, you won't get it done. But uh, so we've got the chemical to heat, working on the agitation here. Just going to finish this bit over here, just out of shot maybe a little bit, I do apologise for that. 
If I put the tripod any further back, you guys will be in the garden bottom, so I wouldn't be doing that. So now we've got the, the agitation done, the next part of it is time. And you've got to allow the chemical time to do its job. You've got to allow it time to eat in there, have a go with the dirt, and uh, get that all chewed up, and uh, work its magic as it were. And uh, a lot of people spray a chemical on, rinse it off and expect it to disappear, and uh, that's just never going to happen, even with, uh, even with neat hypo. And, uh, I'm going to say that the keys are chemical, heat, agitation and time. I keep repeating that because I want you to remember it. And uh, so now we've done the agitation, we're going to give that a bare minute. And I'm just going to pop out a shot while I turn the, uh, the garden tap back on. Bear with me one second guys. That's back on and back. Hit my hose nozzle. Nothing more than garden tap water in here. And that's had a minute to sit. It's had a minute to work its magic. Never leave it to dry. It gets to be a pain in the ass to get this stuff off when it's dry. Of course, staining on the glass, on the plastics, all sorts. But um, also, if it's a hot day, don't try and be a hero and do the whole damn thing in one go. Break it down. Do one section. Do this piece here. Get that clean. Do the next section. Take your time about it. If you take your time, the customer will feel they're getting more value for money because you're on the job site longer, you can charge more, and jobs are good. Um, at the end of the day, we're charging for results. We're charging to get this back to white. And as we can see here, it's come up lovely, even just letting that sit for a minute. I hope you can hear me over the noise of the, the tap blasting away at the phones here. And uh, give this a quick rinsing down. If you were to use a bleach base on this, because it's a leaded job, if you were to use a hypo base on this, you would turn the lead brown. Then you've got to start sodding about with oxalic acid and stuff like that to get it back to its grey colour again. So I would never use um, a bleach product around uh, a leaded job like this. we just change that to a fan spray there. And as we can see, it's all rinsing off. What was totally minging a few minutes ago, and bear in mind it's only taken us a few minutes to do this side. I should have done the gutters first, of course, before working down, but it's only a demo video for you. I'll do the gutters in a second. Roots off along the bottom here. You guys can see how quick and efficient that is. And, uh, I'm going to give it another coating along the windowsill down the base here, uh, along the windowsill, because there's still a bit of grey in there. And as I've got to do the gutter anyway, that's no big deal. Um, but as you can see, shitloads wider, shitloads brighter, um, all the spiders, cobwebs gone, etc. And that's for simply following the rules. Number one, wash off the surface dirt first. Don't try and use the chemical to clean dirt that you don't need to use the chemical to clean dirt for. Just rinse all that off, blast it off with a good pressure garden hose. Number two, when your surface is wet, then you can apply your, your chemical cleaner. Give that a spray on there, and that's the, the chemical cleaner on there. Depending on the heat, the, the ambient temperature of the air and the uh, and the, uh, the UPVC depends how long it will take for the, the chemical to be effective. So, uh, so basically, we've got the, the chemical once again, Nuvix, heat, agit and then next is agitation. So, break out my brush again and just give this uh, one quick touch up along the bottom here. We'll get a decent angle. There we go. That's taking off the last of it just lovely. You probably can't see this on camera, but just getting rid of some of that grey that was still stuck on there. Apologise for the sniffing sounds. It's runny nose day. So uh, we had the chemical, the heat, the agitation. And now the time we're just going to let that sit again for 20 seconds, up to a minute maybe, and job's good. But on a hot summer's day, don't try this. Um, don't try doing the whole damn thing like I've just done there uh, as quick as I have. Um, because on a hot day it will dry out, especially if you're talking to a customer or there's a cup of tea on the go or your phone rings. Do one section, do one panel, clean it, let it dry. Break it down, do another panel, clean it, let it dry. Do the end one, clean it, let it dry. Jobs are good. And but don't just do the whole thing and wash it. Sorry about that, cut as the phone ran out of memory, so obviously I'm talking too much, I guess. But anyway, uh, just to finish up, chemical, heat, agitation and time chat. So you've seen the whole process, 
rinse everything off first, get all the surface dust off, then give it a, a good scrubbing up with your cleaner of choice, rinse that off. Final job you didn't see me do because I ran out of memory is go over the glass with the water fed pole system with the pure water so we don't leave any spots. But I hope you found this informational and useful. Comments in the box below as usual guys. Uh, if you like what we do please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.